It's been eight days since convicted rapist Jesse McFadden shot and killed Holly Guess, Tiffany Guess, Riley Allen, Michael Mayo, Brittany Brewer, and Ivy Webster outside this rural property near Henrietta. Justin Webster says he's angry over rumors and what he calls lies from other victims' family members. You don't do that. It's sick. Webster says talk of naked Polaroids and bloody underwear is not true. He's texting with investigators following leads. We were unable to verify it was there and did not locate anything that matched that information. There is a ledger with names. He and his wife found it when they entered the house before OSBI took over the investigation. I went out to the deputy and I kind of tossed it at him and I said, here's a list, now start your real investigation. Webster briefly showed me a photo of it. All of the victims' names are not on it, as from other accounts. Holly Guess's name, a couple of others, and a few first names and dates. Over the weekend, investigators spent nearly three days combing through the more than 100 acres and areas of question. They dug them up with an excavator and they found nothing. The ME left after, a bunch of rumors spread saying that they found more bodies, but they didn't find anything there. However, inside the house, Justin was told they found more evidence and more electronics. There was enough electronics in that to run the underground. Uh, sex ring. The Webster family's focus now pushing for harsher punishments for child sex crimes. These monsters, and that's what they are, they are monsters, should not have rights. They should be locked up in prison the rest of their life and put to death. My message to them is they better run because America's mad now. We're coming for every single one of them. The petition also calls to require all schools have an ID scan database system that would flag sex offenders trying to enter the building. They hope to enact the Knight's Law, state and eventually nationwide, named after the Henrietta mascot.